Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So real quick in this video, I'm just gonna put out a good disclaimer. This video was shot at almost like oh dark hundred. It was like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night uh, when this video was filmed in a fairly poorly lit shop. So you'll have to excuse the poor lighting in this video. So if you are watching on a mobile device, you'll wanna make sure that you have your screen cranked all the way up or any device you'll want to have that brightness set all the way up and maybe be sitting in the shade or maybe wait until you get home or this evening uh, you know when it gets a little darker out to watch this nothing i can do about it. it's just the footage that i captured so with that disclaimer out of the way hopefully you're doing that right now and that'll work out great so this was a little bit of an after forging session from a class that I taught at Goshen, Ohio, uh, down in Goshen, Ohio, uh, where I led a fundamentals class. And so it was a great class. And while I was down there, I got the opportunity to meet Ed and Brian in Brazil. I got to meet both those guys, the Brazil brothers, and they're really phenomenal gentlemen. So, um, you know, great time hanging out with them and uh, talking shop and all sorts of stuff. And one of the ways that one of the ways that I wanted to just kind of thank them for all the work that they've been putting in at the um, the blacksmith shop down there of building it up and getting their forges and stuff together. I wanted to forge a couple anvil, a uh, uh, couple swedge blocks with them, I should say. That's what I'm looking for. Anvils might be next. But <laughs> so I wanted to forge some swedge blocks with them. Um, and, you know, I've made several swedge blocks in the past. Um, so this is number three, four, and five. So this makes a total of five swedge blocks uh, that, that I've made of this particular styling and uh, with a few key differences. So, so the video that you're about to watch is us forging some of the forging process of one of those swedge blocks. But we were able to complete three swedge blocks in under three hours, and it was about a, it was a team. It was a team effort. There was about three or four of us working um, together. Sometimes Jamie was helping, sometimes Ed was grinding, sometimes he was, you, you know, jumping in and out, but we were able to really slam out uh, these wedge blocks pretty quick using this power hammer in Ang Yang 88 pound uh, power hammer. Fantastic machine. If you're probably in the market for a power hammer, I would say an Ang Yang. I've used it quite often. It's got a lot of thump for it, you know, for a modern hammer. So uh, yeah, I like the little hammer. Just wish it was a tad bit bigger, like as you'll see in the video. So, <laughs> All right. So enough of me hammering on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll enjoy this little clip of forging uh, these uh, swedge blocks and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. No, here it is. Got it. Jeez. the center.
well played to get there. So Well, he got a plan to his Let's go ahead and throw him once. 